So this is just going to be a short video to follow up on the buzzing that I was getting out of the transmission I've talked about in a couple other videos. It's amazing how a little inconsequential buzz can affect your enjoyment of the car and when that's gone it makes the car so much more pleasant to, to just enjoy. Uh, just, just makes a big difference. So um, here we go. In some previous videos, I mentioned that I'm getting a buzzing out of the shift mechanism in the, in the Lotus. And what I found was that if I uh, would hold the shift lever in third gear and just put a little sideways pressure on it, the buzz would go away. So I thought, well, maybe it's the crossgate cable. So I disconnected the crossgate uh, cable from the shift lever and revved the engine just sitting still and it still made the buzzing sound. So that led me to believe that it, the buzzing may have been coming from the cable sheath itself. So, so the outer sheath of the cable just transmitting vibrations from the engine where it's mounting here into the, uh, the, the shift console on the other end. So I thought I'd run an experiment. What I did is I bought a sheet of, uh, this is synthetic rubber. It's uh, uh, the same material that they make rubber gloves out of. It's 132nd thick and a 60A uh, uh, durometer. So it's, it, it's a typical softness for uh, rubber, um, but not as, as stiff as urethane. But 132nd is, is you know, pretty thin. So it, I figured uh, this wouldn't interfere much with any lengths of cables or anything like that. So I probably wouldn't have to do any adjustment. What I did is, it's not, not gonna be easy to see here, uh, but I'll explain. So this gold colored bracket normally just bolts up to the engine block with some uh, split uh, washer bolts and everything's held solidly. What I did is I took that uh, sheet of rubber, cut, a sh cut the shape of a basically rectangle with two holes in it and, s and set that in between the engine block and this uh, a, a bracket, the abutment bracket. And then I also bought two big fender washers and made uh, rubber donuts the same shape as the fender washers. So now I have a rubber sandwich around the abutment bracket. And then uh, I, I used uh, two wave washers to hold a little tension and then a, a bolt without the split washer on it and screwed it all together. So the sandwich is, um, it's a, just a bolt with a wave washer, a fender washer, the rubber donut, then this bracket, and then the uh, rubber sheet to the engine block. And I uh, used some uh, Loctite on the bolt just to make sure that the bolt wouldn't back out with with uh, use because I you know if this is going to work I wanted it to be semi permanent and uh, lo and behold it solved the problem so uh, now there is no buzzing in the in the car so what the the problem apparently was that there was just some vibration making it through these very stiff uh, sheaths for the, uh, the transmission cables that was uh, vibrating just at the right frequency on the console itself, not in the shifter, but the whole, it was, it was vibrating the entire console and that would make noise in the shifter because the shift lever itself is, is the thing that can move around a little bit. So I was getting the, basically, the noise was being generated where the um, cable gets, the, the cable sheath gets mounted. 
and that was just vibrating the whole thing. So uh, totally went away with that, that rubber gasket. So if, uh, if anybody does have the vibration, um, I recommend playing around with, with a little rubber gasket. Um, there's also some opportunity to put rubber gasket in the interior set side where the cable sheath mounts to the center uh, column. You could try that as well, but uh, it wasn't necessary for me. All I had to do was, was uh, use, use the rubber in this section. Kind of see that the, uh, the rubber donut squeezed out of the fender washers a little bit, but, but it's fine. It works.